Hey guys, my name is Kenji and I'm here to show you guys how to change a flat tire. Now this is my tutorial video for my strategic presentation from, for my blog. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I myself had a uh, experience with a flat tire and I know it can be troublesome. So I want to show you guys my information and my way of doing it. Uh, so when the time comes, you guys know what to do. So with that being said, uh, make sure to check me out on my uh, blog post site here at swiftshifts.wordpress.com. Check me out there to know more about me and more about my topic. So with that, let's move on. What are, what are you going to need? You're going to need a spare tire, car jack, lug wrench, wheel chokes, if possible, uh, open space, manpower, and some common sense. So why do we get uh, flat tires? Uh, mainly because of nails, potholes, and weather. Nails because either construction sites or careless people leave in sharp objects on the floor and therefore your tire could get pierced. Potholes, driving over a pothole very fast can pierce or slash the tires of your car. And the weather, because of cold weather, the the, the tire shrinks uh, and making, uh, losing air. And in hot weather, because the rubber and pavement do friction, um, it's slowly shaving off the tire and you can lose air pressure like that. So that, let's move on. Uh, so what you're gonna do to change out your flat tire is first you're gonna put on your hazard lights. Then you want to put your car in park and then lift the e-brake, which can be found in the on the driver's side. First, you want to look for where the flat tire is. Uh, sometimes the driver can feel whether the car is in balance and there it will tell where the flat tire is. Or sometimes you could hear it. Uh, some cases when it really when it's really bad, you can hear like the air getting um, sucked out of it. So make sure to look for where that flat tire is. Uh, then you want to go to your trunk and pull out the spare tire under the cargo compartment. As you see here, uh, then you want to slip in the wheel chokes or a stone uh, or a rock to prevent the car from moving. Uh, so if you don't have a wheel choke at your disposal, a stone or a rock will, will, will just do. Uh, then you want to loosen the lug nuts but not take it off completely using the star method. Uh, the reason you use the star method is because um, A, uh, you, you don't forget which one you're doing. Uh, like if you go in a circle, you forget which one you loosened, uh, loosened up. And second, it's because um, it will make the wheel come out much easier and cleaner. Next, you want to prop the car on the car jack using these car jack points. So depending on the car, whether big or small, uh, these are mainly the points where you're supposed to prop them. Uh, just make sure uh, you put it on the right spot because if you don't, uh, the car can slip off the car jack. And if you're under it, it can literally fall on top of you. So be careful with that. Uh, then you want to fully loosen the lug nuts with the lug nut wrench. And I stress this very much. Don't lose the lug nuts because those are going to be very vital for when you put on your spare tire. Next, you want to cautiously take off the flat tire and store it in a safe place, uh, whether it's in the trunk or in the passenger seat. Uh, you want to keep it safe. Uh, then you want to put on the spare tire. And I know this is already um, hard for some people. So if you can, you guys can take a break, uh, a short one minute break, and then you can go straight back into uh, putting in that spare tire. Uh, then you want to hand tighten the, the tire first. Uh, first, you want to hand tighten the lug nuts. And then uh, with that, you want to do the lug wrench. I also use the star method, but not too tight. Um, you want to just put it as uh, we're able to wiggle it. And then you want to put a bit more, but not, not too tight. And then you're going to slowly lower the car jack until the car is on ground level. Then you can remove the car jack. And then you want to make sure that that flat tire either gets patched or replaced. I say replaced uh, because when a, a flat tire is patched, uh, if you go over another uh, pothole or you hit another flat, or another nail, uh, the patch will seem to fall off. So I, I would say uh, replace it, whether with Michelin or Bridgestone, all season, all weather tires, just the best. And yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys here with some tips to prevent flat tires. Uh, first, you wanna check your tire pressure gauge on your dashboard. Uh, next, you wanna sometimes give it a few kicks, uh, all your four wheels to make sure that the car is balanced. Uh, next, you wanna avoid road hazards. What I mean by this is not speeding through potholes you know drive carefully and try to avoid construction sites uh, next is regular maintenance of your tires so tires dependent on the car and many other factors uh, tires usually uh, should be changed every 10 years however on the fifth year mark uh, you may want to have it checked by a mechanic or professional and if they say that you should replace the tires because of its uh, you know uh, faults or, or or its um, problems that it has uh, I say take their advice and change it and yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video. Stay safe while you guys are out there. And be sure to give me 
a like and a follow, share this, and visit my site.